Phillips 90 are L077-1973-1975, this is the documentation of the experience of a hobby project, made with the hope that it could be helpful to others. But any comment that could help me to improve my practice is also welcome and appreciated. Unlike most of the other videos in this series, this particular one shows a very simple refurbishment process, and there is no extra written documentation attached to it. There is a small schematic diagram attached inside the back cover, and that is good because there are a few slightly different schematics of this transistor radio around. This is a clearer schematic diagram, edited to contain the same information of the original one that was accompanying this particular unit. It seems that the radio has internal oscillations. The other buzzing noise is just coming from LED lamps. printed circuit board is separated from the casing in order to replace the three electrolytic capacitors that are installed. Two capacitors are soldered under the space occupied by the knobs. Therefore, the two knobs must be removed to be able to access these two capacitors.
The radio is prepared for another test, but first the knobs are installed again. The knobs have a small reference that allows to put on top the graduated scale with the right orientation. However, first the knobs must have been installed oriented correctly. In this case, both knobs have been inadvertently installed rotated 180 degrees. Later, when the issue is discovered, it is fixed but off camera. The radio is reassembled, but for now the back cover is not put on yet. The battery compartment has corroded contacts due to substances released by old batteries forgotten in it. A gel rust remover is used to dissolve the rust and clean those contacts. Some denatured alcohol is used to wash out the rust remover, but the circuit board is removed again to make sure that no residues remain underneath.
The radio is put back together again and tested, but at the moment the graduated scale on the two knobs still appears 180 degrees misaligned. Off camera, the radio is opened again and the misalignment issue is fixed. Here are the three electrolytic capacitors that have been removed from the radio. The LC or meter reads a significantly higher capacity due to the leakage. Here is the refurbished Philips 90 RL077. The test is done with all the LED lights turned off. If you would like to contribute to this project, donating old electronics equipment or old radios in whatever condition they might be, provided that you do not feel any attachment that could be helpful for my next restoration documentation and video production.